Will the United States be competitive with China in 15 or 20 years? Well, experts say we don't even have a fighting chance for it when it comes to cyber warfare and artificial intelligence. That alarm was raised by the Pentagon's former chief software officer. China is now leading the race for world domination through AI. So what can America do about it? Dale Hurd has the details on what could possibly be the most powerful weapon since the atomic bomb. The Pentagon knew it had a problem when Nick Chalon, its first ever chief software officer, quit, saying the United States has no competing fighting chance against China in 15 to 20 years when it comes to cyber warfare and artificial intelligence. That set off alarm bells in Washington. Artificial intelligence, or AI in weapons development, has been called the third revolution of warfare after the invention of gunpowder and the nuclear bomb. It's been said that whoever leads in artificial intelligence in 2030 will rule the world until 2100. And it's a race that some say America is losing. Among them is Daniel Castro, AI expert and director of the Center for Data Innovation. If you take the current trajectories that we're on, China's going to win. Without a doubt, China's going to win. The difference is China's made a concerted effort to win this race, and the United States has not yet done that. Technologist China and China expert Pascal Coppins agrees. China is doing three things fantastically well. One is they built a huge infrastructure to make these disruptions and make these innovations come to life. The other thing is that users are adopting this AI technology like nowhere else in the world. And then the third thing is really about the competition between companies to actually outcompete each other to be the best AI company in China. China is also winning because its government has few, if any, moral or ethical concerns about creating an AI-dominated world. In China, they're looking at this as this huge opportunity. It's a ticket to a better future. In the West, we're looking at this and saying, maybe we should slow down. At stake is not just who has the best weapons. The AI revolution will transform almost every aspect of our lives, from business to travel to health care, as computers begin to problem solve on their own. But it's likely to erode your privacy even further, with more data collection and surveillance. The United States still has what it takes to beat China in the AI race. It still leads in talent, research, development, and hardware. But the U.S. has to decide soon that it wants to win, and then do what it takes to win. Dale Hurd, CBN News.